Hi everyone, welcome to my AL Divisional Series Playoff Predictions. We're going to start with the Oakland Athletics and the Detroit Tigers, both division winners. Uh, we're going to start first with the prediction. I think the Tigers win this one in four games. I just don't think the A's have enough pitching to compete with Fister, Verlander, Scherzer, and Sanchez. Yes, uh, you got some good pitchers on the A's, but they don't compare to the quality of the Tigers. I think the Tigers also have the superior lineup with Miguel Caprera, Prince Fielder, Austin Jackson, Torrey Hunter, Peralta. These guys are proven hitters. The A's don't have that real threatening lineup. I mean, you look at it, you got Jonas Cepedes, uh, Coco Crisp, Josh Reddick, Chris Young. Not exactly world beaters, not a team that hits for a high average. The Oakland's best chances at winning the series come at doing what they do best and that's seeing a lot of pitches and taking a lot of walks. We'll move now to the second series where the Tampa Bay Rays have their two straight wins. Travel to Boston to take on John Farrell and the AL East winning Red Sox. And this one, I like the Rays because they just have better top end starting pitching. Matt Moore, who's going to start um, Alex Cobb and Chris Archer, all great pitchers. Well, with the Red Sox, it's Lester, Buckholtz, Petey. Those are just guys that are a step below the Rays starters. I think that the Red Sox rely on their a few hitters in it that they got. And that's Ortiz, Victorino, Ellsbury, Pedroia, Napoli. But they don't offer the same balance lineup that the Rays do with Escobar, Loney, Longoria, um, Zobris, Young, Myers, Joyce, De Jesus, Jason Jennings. You got a lot more options. I think they're the Rays is a deeper team, and I think they win this in four games. And those are my predictions for the ALDS. Thanks for watching.